Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next module of this course of Kotlin programming. Now in this module, we will talk about collections in Kotlin. So, first of all, what are the topics that we will cover in this module? So firstly, I will show you what are collections by simply using the examples of arrays in Kotlin. Now the arrays in Kotlin are actually mutable in nature but has fixed size. Now, if you are from Java background, then you must be knowing what does array stands for. It is simply the collection of elements that is integer, strings and so on. Such as array of string, array of integer, array of float and so on. So we will check out what is the array and what does this mutable stands for and why do we say that array has fixed size. Now proceeding forward, we will check out the actual collections in Kotlin such as the immutable collections and also the mutable collections, right? Now, if you notice the two sections here, the immutable collection and mutable collection, you can notice immutable collection are actually read only. That is, once we define the collection, that is the array or list or map or set, we can only read data from that collection. But the mutable collection supports both read and write operation. That is, once we define our collection such as the list or map or sets, we can read and write both. That is, we can modify the list or the collection in future as well. So, similarly, the array is actually mutable in nature. That is, we can modify our array in future as well. So, in this video, just for the introduction, I will show you what is an array and how can we define the array in Kotlin. So, if you understand the concept of array in this video, then from the next video onwards, you won't face any difficulty to understand the list, map and sets, both immutable and mutable. So, let's check out the array inside the IntelliJ IDE. So, here inside the IntelliJ IDE, just to define the array, the syntax is like this. So, var or val let us define the name as my array as of now equal to let's say array. Now it expects a template that is the type of array that you want to create. So as of now I want to create the integer array. The array that will hold only the integer value. So as a parameter while defining the array object that is my array you have to define the size of the array that is the number of elements that this array can contain or the integer values that it can contain. So as of now, I will simply give 5. Now, proceeding forward, give it a space and here it expects the second parameter as a lambda value. Now we already know what does the lambda in case of Kotlin stands for. So inside the lambda that is in between the parentheses, that is the curly braces, you have to define the initial value of all the elements of the array. So here, let us initialize it to 0. Right? So we have simply defined the array of integers, that is my array that can only contain 5 elements and the initial value of all the elements is 0. Now, if you look at the representation of the array, a typical array, you will find this. Right? So, here I have 5 elements, so all the 5 elements is actually represented with the help of a particular index. So this is the index such as 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now notice we have 5 elements but the index starts from 0 and ends in 4. That is 5 minus 1 is 4, right? If I put here 6, then the index will move ahead such as 5 and the value will again be 0. Now these are the elements initial value that we are defining it here. So all the elements initially has the value of 0. Now if I put here let's say minus 1, so instead of 0 we will have minus 1, minus 1 and so on all the values will change from 0 to minus 1. So as of now let us keep it 0 only, right? That was just to show you. Now, now proceeding forward as said, the arrays are actually mutable in nature but has fixed size. So once we have defined that the array should only contain the 5 elements, so it will only have the 5 elements, right? We cannot make it 6 in future, right? And it is mutable in nature, that is, we can modify the values present inside the array. Such as, if you want, you can change 
the element at the index of 0 to let's say 32. So now when the code will be executed this 0th index that is the this index will now contain 32 instead of 0. So here 0 will now become 32 right. Now if I change let's say my array index of let's say 3 I want to change the third index element to let's say 54. So here instead of 0 I will get 54 as the integer value right. So this shows that the arrays are actually mutable in nature that is once defined you can change the values right. Now if you want to print the values so for that you can simply use print line let's say my array and simply use the index. Now to define the index you simply need to use the square brackets square bracket open and close now inside this you will simply use let's say I want to print the third element or the fourth element so for that you have to use the index of 3. So let us now run the code. So in the output console we get 54 as the output. Now if you want to print all the elements present inside the array that is right from 32 till 0 so for that we need to use the for each loop such as for loop define element in operator followed by my array. Now the concept of for loop we already saw in the previous module right. So let us define let us use print line statement or instead of this simply use element. So this will simply print all the elements present inside the my array. And here we get all the output 32 0 0 54 and 0. Now make a note here that the element present at 1 and 2 and 4 we have not yet initialized. That is it is by default 0 that we have defined here. So if you want you can also change modify the value by providing the index let's say index at 1 equal to 10 or 11 like this. Let us now run the code and here we get 11 here right. Now if I suppose use the index of let's say my array for the index let's say 9 or 8 equal to let's say 23. So since we know that the size of the array is only 5 so from where we are getting the 8th index. So if I run the code right now it will simply throw an error that array index out of bound exception right as expected array index out of bound exception because our array does not contain the 8th or 9th element right. So there is no possibility of having the index of 8. So that is why it has simply thrown the error and that is why we say that we cannot add more elements as mentioned here in future. So that is why please make a note, please remove this code and now we are simply printing element inside the array and simply printing the element. Suppose if you want to print all the elements with the help of the index so for that what you can do is simply use the for loop provide the index variable in my array or the range 0 dot dot let's say 4. So index will now vary from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now to be more specific so here we have 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 like this right. Now to be more specific instead of 4 you can simply use my array dot size minus 1 that is my array dot size will simply return 5 right. So minus 1 will now return 4. So this will now become finally 4 like this. So it is a more generalized form and then simply print the my array of the index. So the index will simply vary from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and it will simply print out all the elements present inside the array. So here let us use print line or the new line character and now run the code. So in the output console we get 32 till 0 and then again 32 till 0. So in both the ways the codes are working perfectly fine. So this is the way to print all the elements inside the collection. So in the upcoming videos we will use these two loops again to print out all the elements present inside the collection. Now at the end of this video I would again like to highlight this point that this array has a fixed size. So this is actually the problem for us. Suppose you want to add elements in future but you cannot do it. 
So for that we will check out the array list in Kotlin in the next video. So please make sure you check out my next video. This is Shrink Sadar signing off and thanks for watching and have a good day.